Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 21 and in this video we're going to take a look at the variable scope. <laughs> Alright, so in JavaScript and other programming languages in general, there's this concept called variable scope. And essentially, variable scope determines where in the code a variable is visible and which part of the code can use it. Now, there's two types of scope and they are local and global. So a global variable has global scope and that would be declared outside of any kind of function at the top level of your JavaScript file, much like this one here, this variable I've defined called foo, giving it a value of 20, that is a global variable. And that means that I can use it anywhere in the code. I can call that variable wherever I want and I'll get that value. Now a local variable is a variable which is defined inside of a function, much like this one here. I've got a function called my function, and I've declared a variable called bar in it and assigned it the value of 10. That is a local variable. And this means, my friends, that it can only be used within this function. It cannot be called later on outside of the function. If I call bar, I'll get an error because it's defined in here. That is a local variable. All right then guys, so I've got the code up from the last lesson here, and if you remember, we just made a simple function called getAverage. We passed that function to variables, then we worked out the average of these uh, variables, we logged them to the console, and then we returned that variable down here where we called the function, and we assigned this variable here the result, okay? Then we logged that, that result here to the console. So. This right here is declared outside of the function, is it not? So that makes it a global variable with global scope. That means it can be used anywhere in the code. If I had functions down here, I could use it within those, or outside of functions down here, I could use it there as well. I can call this wherever I want. Now, this one up here, this variable we've called average, that was declared within this function, which means it's a local variable. Now, I can only use local variables within this function, and I have done. I've used it here, I've called uh, average to log it to the console, and I've returned it here. I've given a value back down here. So, that is a local variable. Now, let us try and log, let's say console.log, this variable average outside of the function. See what happens, I've saved that and I'll refresh over here and we get this error, uncaught reference error, average is not defined, okay? So that means there that this variable is telling me that it's not been defined and it has been defined up here, but that is within a function. Outside of the function, it's not been defined. Remember, a variable that's declared within a function is local, therefore has local scope, meaning it can only be referenced within this function. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna demonstrate that we can use this anywhere. I'm gonna make a function here, and I'm gonna call it log result. And then within this function, what I'm gonna do is just copy or cut this, and I'm gonna paste it down here. The average is my result. And then what I'm gonna do is call log result like this, okay? So what I'm doing here is, first of all, I'm calling this function. I'm passing these two variables into the function. It's gonna work out the average for me and it's gonna return that value here. So my result is now gonna equal the average of that. Then what I'm doing is calling this log result function, which is here. And inside that function, I'm gonna log this message to the console, which says the average is, and then it's gonna use this variable here. Even though we're using it inside a function, that should be fine because this is declared outside of a function, it's global, has global scope and can be used anywhere. So let's save that and refresh, perfect. Okay, so this right here, this message is this. And just to prove that, I'm just gonna put uh, the average, and I'm gonna put another concatenation, and I'm gonna put inside the function, just so we know that it's from within inside the function that this is happening. There we go. So that is it guys. Uh, they are local and global variables. Now, you may be thinking, where do we use these? And I would typically say, if you're using a function um, like this, then you would declare your variables inside 
the function itself because you're only going to use them inside the function. Now, if you desperately need to use this outside of the function, you could declare this outside up here. I don't know, set it equal to zero or something. And then what we're doing is declaring this. So it's got global scope. We can still use it within the function so we don't have to de declare it again. We don't have to you know, define it by using the var keyword. We can just call it and update it by specifying we want the average variable and then set it equal to this. And this is now a global variable because we're assigning it here to zero. So that's it guys. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.